Hello everyone, welcome back to AeroHub and welcome to the series of lectures in aerospace structures and, and today in this lecture we will start the last unit of aerospace structures that is buckling of plate and joints and fittings. Okay, so we will discuss what is meant by plate and we will discuss the application of plates in aero airframe structures and we will discuss about what is buckling in this lecture as you can see in the figure we have a plate structure here and a plate is nothing but a structure having thickness very small when comparing to other two dimension you can see in the figure the thickness is small letter t and the thickness is very small when comparing to the lateral dimension that is this b as well as this dimension la larger dimensions okay so th plate is a it is a structural it is a structural member in which lateral dimensions lateral dimensions lateral dimensions are small sorry the sling is not working sorry for that lateral dimensions are small when comparing to when comparing to the thickness this is the definition of a plate and you can see that this plate structure is mainly applicable to carry bending as well as shear load for airframe section the plate structure is mainly used to carry the shear load and there are classification of plate plate can be classified let B be the smaller dimension, not smaller, a smaller dimension. And plate can be classified as thin plate. and thick plate okay that is when the thickness is smaller than 20 times b b is this smaller dimensions we have a larger dimensions here when the thickness is smaller than 20 times the width or the smaller dimension it is called thin plate when the thickness is larger than 20 times the B, this is a thick plate. And basically, we are using and thin plate uh, having more application in airframe structures when comparing to the thick plate. And we can see the applications of uh, thin plate. For example, thin plates are used in ribs and it is used in the skin of the aircraft as well as stringers longerons ok these are the places where the thin plate find application in the airframe structure so one of the important aspect of loading condition for thin plate is whenever we are applying a small amount of compressive load this thin plate tend to buckle buckle means it will 
fail under compressive load that is there will be instability in the structure for example i have a loam column when i am applying a compressive load this column will deflect sideways after a certain amount of load that load is called critical load you are aware about this thing whenever i am applying a load beyond critical load there will be large amount of sideways deflection for the long column okay that is called buckling and buckling is a structural instability that is applicable for both columns and plates okay in this case we are considering the buckling of thin plate we are not considering about we are not discussing about thick plate and thin plate can be analyzed by using kirchhoff's plate theory and the thick plate can be analyzed by mindlin theory okay so we will be discussing about kirchhoff's plate theory in the upcoming lectures now we will see about the airframe application of plates we can see in the figure we have a section of wing here and we have a section of fuselage here in the wing section you can see we have a spar web which is an ex a typical example of thin plate and the skin that is a cover skin which is like a curved sheet okay and plate can be also defined as a material a sheet of material also this cover skin is also like a thin plate and also you can see the spar flanges and also you can see the longitudinal stringers or the stiffness here that is arranged throughout the wing section and this stringers are also like a thin plate and you have to understand that when we are whenever we are applying a small amount of load this thin plate can buckle and to reduce the effect of buckling we have to improve the strength of the structure that's why we are providing number of ribs as well as number of stringers throughout the wing and this will improve the buckling strength of the throughout the buckling strength throughout the wing okay and you can see that for a wing we have number of ribs arranged throughout the wing section this is mainly to increase the buckling strength of the skin as well as the stringers and you can see the application of thin plate in the spar web as well as in the stringers as well as the cover skin similarly we can see the application of uh, thin plate in the frames as well as in the longerons and skin of the fuselage structure and basically we will deal with the buckling of plate and buckling is defined as buckling is defined as buckling is defined as defined as the structural instability that leads to leads to a failure mode okay that is it will deflect in an excessive manner that is called failure mode and in this unit we will see about we will derive the equations for critical load and critical stress for a thin plate and we will see what is called effective sheet width and we will see about needham's and gerard's theory to predict the failure of uh, thin plate and we will see about spar theory as well as we will see about tension field beam and semi tension field beam in the upcoming lectures Oh, that's all about this lecture thank you for listening take care